So hey, what's up you guys? This is Dad Zediban for ZHM Entertainment and I am having a look today at the Crazy Toys replica of the Sideshow um, Spider-Man figure based on the art of J. Scott Campbell. So I picked this up a little while ago. I got just a little bit of backstory here. So I am a huge Spider-Man fan and I genuinely wanted to get the Sideshow one. But unfortunately, the retailers here in South Africa were trying to tear me a new one um, with the price. So I looked around. I think I got this one off eBay. So yeah, um, I'm going to have a look at it and let you know exactly what you can expect if you do have to get one of these. And hopefully that will help you to determine whether it's a worthwhile expense or not. Now, uh, so a little disclaimer before we go on. I in no way support or endorse the purchase or otherwise procurement of... Uh, counterfeit materials so this item is just for my personal collection um i will not be selling it anywhere or doing anything of the sort I strongly suggest that you get the real product itself okay so being a statue we are going to consider the two essential items and those are of course the aesthetics and the age factor so okay so this is a side view of the statue as you can see it is pretty imposing it is pretty imposing this is almost an exact replica of the original sideshow version of the statue so that is the right view so we're going to turn it that's the left view of the statue as you can see pretty imposing pretty imposing indeed okay so we're going to go slightly closer right so as you can see and i hope the camera can pick it up there is some pretty decent detailing on this so uh, as you can see the web the web designs and the web motifs throughout are engraved. Uh, they are engraved and as you can see some pretty decent work over there as well. There are some areas where you can see it doesn't actually translate through properly. But overall it's, it, it's not bad at all. This is actually pretty damn good. Uh, what I do like is that there's some pretty good shading as well. Now I went, there's two versions of the statue. So statue. So uh, as you can see in the overlay pick, there is the standard blue one and there is the other one, darker one. Um, I chose this one here because I felt they looked a little bit more moody and um, I, I just liked the overall design. But let's talk about the sculpting. So the way the musculature is sculpted, I am very, very happy with it. This is everything rings pretty true. Um, it's nicely detailed, very light, very strong, powerful looking Spider-Man. Very, very happy with it. Uh, to come over here under, you can see um, even his torso, um, very, very, very good detail as well. Very, very happy with it. Very, very happy with the overall sculpt. So sculpt work out of the way. So let's talk about the paintwork. As far as the paintwork is concerned, the paintwork is quite textured. So there are a few misses here and there. Like where there's a bit of paint bleeding, a bit of slop, a bit of smudge. But overall, it's not terrible. You know, I mean, for what I paid for this thing compared to the authentic version, I'm not... not not disappointed at all um what i like is like some of the subtle touches over here because you can see like there's some blue shading over there along the edge of the eye pieces um if you look very, very closely you can see that they sort of have like some shading over there the shading appears true so I, I really hope the camera can pick it up in this lighting but as you can see there's sort of like some shadow over here and um, some highlights on this side as well and that seems to ring true over there as well so overall very very happy with it still on the topic of paint work and uh, sculpting as you can see okay so the back you know so spiderman uh his rear torso um his back i'm very very impressed with the way they did this because as you can see okay some very 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 nice sculpted detail over there in terms of the musculature but what's really really impressive is the way they did the paint so as you can see there's some deep shadowing over there you know place like that but immediately next to it now you get those highlights of there so it's quite happy with the way they did that in fact another good example of it is over here at the base of his neck you know, the base of his skull, his neck, and uh, even his head over here. So in as much as, you know, there is some slop over there with the paint, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Does it? Yes, it does. Okay, so even though there is some slop over there and some smudging over there with the paint, overall, it's not bad. I mean, for a counterfeit figure, um, it's, it's not bad at all. So, yeah, pretty decent and um, aesthetically pleasing. Definitely pleasing. No problem with it overall. A uh, couple of hit and misses over there, but not bad. So overall with the statue, uh, what you see over here is everything is PVC. Uh, everything is PVC. It seems like a high quality one. It doesn't have that really weird um, plasticky smell. 
as it were. Um, it doesn't have any of that. Um, it's 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 relatively heavy. It's not well, it's not light. It's not heavy. It's, I suppose it's decent for what it is. Um, it's not made of polished. Okay, so I like what they did with the base. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's not the most solid of bases. Um, you know, it's it's not, it's not super solid, uh, but it's not terrible either. Um, I like the paintwork over here. I like the detailing. Overall, overall, not really much to talk about over there, but um, it does what it's supposed to do. But um, overall, the figure is very, very aesthetically pleasing. The second issue, uh, okay, so the second factor we consider, of course, is the age factor. Now, the age factor is a generic standard that I've created where I try to determine whether the um, item I'm considering elicits a ish out of excitement or a ish response which shows obviously a bit of disappointment so yeah um i gotta tell you for for what it is right so so so, so let's put it this way for what it is I'm very happy with the statue. Um, I have no reservations with recommending it for somebody who cannot afford or otherwise cannot find the real version of it. Um, of course, the manufacturers at Sideshow, the sculptors over there now, I mean, they do phenomenal work. And, you know, we do obviously want to support the industry. So if you can get one and if you can afford it, then please, by all means, get the real deal. Because this one, nice as it is, it does not compare to the real thing. So there's no substitute for, um, there's no substitute for the real thing at all. So this one here, it's fairly decent. No complaints. So they're pretty happy. It, is, uh, it elicits a resounding ish out of excitement. Very happy with it. A um, couple things to watch out for. Um, well, it's it, it's not very stable. You know, being as light as it is, it's it's, it's not it's not very stable on, on the base. My so. Um, so my one has fallen over a couple times, so that wasn't great. But fortunately, because it was as cheap as it is, and uh, it's made out of fairly durable material, so um, there was no damage to it. So I'm not too upset about that. So that was fine. Uh, overall, guys, no hesitations with recommending it if you can. Uh, if you can get the real one, once again, please get the real one. If you cannot afford the real one, or otherwise cannot find the real one on the market, then uh, this is a decent substitute to fill your collection until you are able to get the real one. Uh,